Hillary showed up at Memorial Day Parade and horrified people immediately noticed one sick thing. If there was one person that I wish a hole would swallow up it would be Hillary Clinton. Even months after losing the election to Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton is still hanging around whining and complaining. Instead of her gracefully admitting defeat Clinton has resorted to using every excuse known to man. But, not only is she using excuses but also has shifted blame to everyone else. I mean, seriously, toddlers get over losing a toy faster than Hillary losing the election. I guess it is beyond her arrogant comprehension that no one wanted a lying murdering woman in charge of the country, right? Well, we really dodged a bullet this past November with Hillary Clinton after what people witnessed in a Memorial Day parade. During the campaign, Hillary Clinton was plagued with health rumors for months. Between her odd coughing fits and strange behavior no one thought she would make it to Election Day. However, what was really strange is when Clinton showed up to a 9-11 memorial last year apparently, wearing anti-seizure glasses. No one has seen her sporting those shades since, well, that is until this past weekend. According to bystanders who attended the Chappaqua Memorial Day Parade good all, HC seemed to wear the same ones again. Take a look at these images posted to Twitter. Now, take close look folks. Do those look like the ones she wore last year? Here is what InfoWars had to say about those interesting blue lenses. Hillary was seen wearing the blue sunglasses during the 9-11 memorial in New York City where she later collapsed from complications stemming from her numerous health issues. Given her lack of fashion concerns, she's regularly seen wearing pantsuits everywhere she goes, it's unlikely her blue sunglasses were meant as a fashion statement. Epileptic patients often wear Zeiss C1 blue lenses in particular because they are effective at treating photosensitive epilepsy. The Z1 lens is highly effective in controlling photoparoxysmal response in a very large number of photosensitive epilepsy patients irrespective of their epilepsy or anti-epileptic drug treatment, according to a 2006 study published in Epilepsia. The lens might become a valid resource in the daily activity of any clinician who cares for patients with epilepsy. Hillary experiences seizures from flashing lights, such as camera flashes at public events according to sources inside the Secret Service who spoke to InfoWars. Now, I am sure there are plenty of libtards out there who would just say it is a coincidence, but I don't buy it. This woman is a pathological liar and wouldn't be able to admit the truth no matter what it was. I mean for that is perfectly shown with the fact that she cannot even admit the reason lost. I mean just when we thought we had heard enough from crazy Hillary, she now has a new theory of why she lost. Are you sitting down? Good. Hillary Clinton is now saying that the reason she lost was that her opponents fear her. No, really. Here is more The Washington Examiner, losing the 2016 election to Donald Trump hasn't placated her detractors, says Hillary Clinton. Reflecting on criticism stemming back decades and reaching into 2017 months after her latest campaign, Clinton said in a New York Magazine profile that it is fear that continues to drive her detractors. You know. These guys on the other side are not just interested in my losing, they want to keep coming after me, Clinton said. I mean, think about that for a minute. What are they so afraid of? Me, to some extent. Because I don't die, despite their best efforts. But what really drives them is what I represent. Clinton did concede, however, that Trump's brilliant move in the 2016 campaign was to blow the top off. You can say whatever you want about anybody else, and I'll tell you who to be against. I'll tell you who you should be resentful of, she said. Her campaign stories were boring in comparison to the energy behind malicious nostalgia, Clinton added. In recent months Clinton has returned the public spotlight, delivering speeches and announcing a new political organization called Onward Together. She has also been ratcheting up her criticism of Trump. During a commencement speech Friday, Clinton made a not-so-subtle dig at Trump when she compared him to former President Richard Nixon. Of course, after that latest break with reality was posted, Hillary was immediately handed a harsh dose of truth. When you couple Hillary Clinton's health problems and her delusions of grandeur, we really should be thanking lucky stars. This woman is one fry short of Happy Meal and to think she was inches from the presidency.
I can only hope that she will eventually fall into obscurity and let the adults take care of business. Share if you think Hillary Clinton is off her rocker. H slash T Gateway Pundit, Young Conservatives. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe and comment because your voice matters and visit our page on Facebook and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.